a free week with the manager this week. Um, yes. How have you found having a little bit more time to get to know him and get to know sort of his message? Yeah, no, it's been it's been a good week. It's um it's been a tough week. Um, we've we've done lots of work on the training ground. You know, the boys have worked really hard, um, getting sort of new messages across and and things for us to work on and improve on. Um, but also things for us to sort of keep doing. Um, so yeah, like like I said, it's been it's been a good week at, and a tough week. But yeah, hopefully hopefully all round yeah positive week. And how have you felt? It's only been two weeks since he took over. I don't know about you. It feels a lot longer because of the, the amount of games that you've had. Yeah. How have you found him coming in? And certainly in terms of the results, there seems to have been a lift. Yeah, I think it's just I think it's just been important just to get like the sort of confidence back into into players that sort of given given players that sort of new sort of ideas and new way of thinking about things and approaching things. Um, and I think you know in the in the performances and in the results you've you've sort of seen that confidence maybe come back a little bit. Um, you know we've gone to two tough places to go, um, and we're disappointed not to come away with more. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's it's building blocks, but yeah, I think the confidence is 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 good in the group at the moment, um, and hopefully we can just just keep on building on on what we started with in these first couple of weeks. From the outside looking in and watching the game, you seem to be a lot more solid defensively. But for a last-minute goal, you'd have kept three clean sheets in his first three games. Is that something in particular that he has wanted to work with you guys on? Yeah, I think it's just it's just almost almost just like the basics of defending, really. Just sort of giving us giving us roles, giving us responsibilities, and and us then sort of sticking to them and and having that idea from from the start of the game, really. Um, We've we've obviously had that sort of almost like a settled back line, say. So I think that's obviously helped. You know, the the boys are the boys are playing well, um, and like I said, that confidence is is going around the group at the moment. Um, so you know, once we have got the first clean sheet, we're 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 looking to get the second, and then like I said, apart from the late goal, would have been the third. So yeah, we're we're just hoping to get one every every game now, and um, yeah, we've we've sort of set the benchmark now. So it's it's up to us to keep to those standards now. And you must be going into this week now, FA Cup, uh, League Cup, uh, in, in the following midweek is one that you're really relishing. Certainly FA Cup, you can go and make some real progress. On paper, you would fancy yourselves to get through into round two, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Um, I mean, we're, we're back at home. So, you know, that's something that we, we, we want to be a lot better at home. We want to make sure that we're winning more frequently and as many games as we can at home. Um, you know, to almost, even though it's not a league game, to back up those results we've had last week um, to go and win at home would, would be the sort of, um, would be the positive ending to this week that we'd won. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're, we're excited for it. Um, and yeah, hoping to and confident that we can get the win on Saturday. And then obviously the game on Tuesday is is, is another good game to be involved in. So yeah, it's a, it's a really good feeling around the group at the moment. I asked the same question to the manager. He told us a great story about going to watch FA Cup finals as a as a child. What are your sort of memories of this competition, either playing or growing up? Is there anything in particular that stands out as particularly special to you? Oh, it's quite hard. I was having this conversation with Matty the other day because Matty was telling me the other day that he's got. Uh, an FA Cup ball for every season that he's played, which I thought was like a really was a really like sort of cool thing to have, and it's something that I, I was like, I really wish I'd start doing some things like this because I feel like I just let them go by, sort of thing. Um, so I, I don't really think I have a necessary memory. I think if anything, this year's actually made me think I need to start doing some. I need to start doing some things to remember, like playing. If you know what I mean, like I'm I'm just get so wrapped up in all the games, and then I speak to Matty and he's got all these balls at home, and I'm like. I don't have anything to sort of show for it. So it's like, I think actually this week for me is actually um, maybe I need to start doing some things so I don't have any nothing to show for it at the end of it. So, yeah. To be fair to someone like Matty, he's obviously been here when the club have done so well in that competition. They, yeah. Those lads must have bored you senseless with stories of Man City and... Tottenham and things like that. Absolutely, it's a, it's a it's a guaranteed hour in the in the in the food room. I think if anyone brings up any of that, so um, I'll I'll, I'll be sure to bring some of that up this week. That's for sure. Uh, we joke about it, but you'd like, you know, in a few years from now, you'd like to be the person telling those stories. You you must want a piece of. of oh what, uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There's like the of course there's the there's the sort of stigma and the jokes that we all have together. But you know, like I said, 
uh, I'm Matty's telling me that, and I'm Come on. And, and I'm um, I'm there sort of saying, oh, I, I wish I would sort of do these sort sorts of things, and like you say, those those games that they've been involved in, that's probably what stems from it. So of course we all want to we all want a piece of that, definitely. Um, and you you will get a piece of that on Tuesday against Leicester, mm. won't you? And I know yeah. that you've got you've got Colchester first, and no one's thinking beyond that. But certainly in the supporters, they are really looking forward to that. As players, you must be as well. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, you know, we're, we're focused on the game on Saturday, but it's hard not to think about that. It's it's, it's a great game to be involved in. Everybody will go there, um, you know, really excited for the game and up for the game. But also, you know, with them intentions of doing the best we possibly can in that game. So, yeah, that like I said, that's, that's a great game to be involved with. And hopefully, for my sake, I get something to remember it by. <laughs> Have you ever been? Uh, have you ever played against a Premier League team before? I was trying to look back last night, and I, I couldn't quite work it out. Um, no, I was when I was at Oxford. We played City in the in the Carabao Cup, but I didn't play. So yeah, that that was what confused me. Yeah, I couldn't work um, out when you so played. Actually, it. yeah, if I was to if I was to play, then no. So that that'll be yeah, like I say, that'll be a great occasion. So. And to play at that sort of stadium as well. Oh, oh 100%. Yeah, that's 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 sort of a bonus. Like, I, I know a lot of us would have wanted the game at home for lots of different reasons. But, you know, there's also benefits for it being away, you know, visit a new, a new stadium. And, yeah, of, of course, you know, see those sort of facilities and everything. So, yeah, no, it'll be it'll be a really great night. Because that is one thing that Matty and Mickey, they didn't have. They all, they all had all the Premier League teams here. Yeah. They didn't play them away, did they? Exactly, so I'll have to I'll have to slip that one in into them. That'll have to be a new one. Although I'll have to maybe try and beat Matty to the ball. I'll have to try and <laughs> steal the ball off Matty. Cameron, appreciate your time and best yeah, of luck. Thank you. Uh, both Saturday and Tuesday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Morning, morning, Camel. Although Matty's missus is probably just saying, "Get those balls out there." <laughs> but they're, they're, they're just in his loft now, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So. But um, no, I guess it goes hand in hand, though, doesn't it? Because like the Leicester thing, you don't want to concentrate on, but you know you need to perform tomorrow to keep your spot if you're to to play in Leicester. Yeah, of course. Um, you know the the gaffers coming in. It's very, it's it's you know it's, it's it's very clear. You know the the best sort of the form. You know you'll keep your jersey if he, if he gives it to you. You know it's yours to sort of lose essentially. So there's there's that pressure, but I think. It's it's sort of that healthy competition, that healthy pressure that everybody's going into every game and not taking anything um, lightly, um, and knowing we need to perform every week. So you know, it's something that um, hopefully all of us can sort of relish in, really. And th there's a feeling that you've got the solid foundation so far, but there's, there is also much more to come, isn't there, from this side? I think as you get to grips with what the manager wants and. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you sort of there's still sort of shades of the sort of team in terms of what we can do from, say, last year. Um, but there's also that new sort of environment that we're in now. And, you know, the, we, we're disappointed in almost disappointed in last week. And from where we've, say, been a few weeks back and we've been quite low to where we are now, we feel like, like you said, there's so much more to come. Um, keep those sort of foundations and what we've sort of worked on and built with him so far. Um, and hopefully just just start uh, really starting to build something, yeah. On a personal front, although I suppose you never want managers to lose their jobs and things, but you do get to work with different people and add to your game, I'd, I'd imagine, with different aspects from different different coaches. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, it's new ideas. It's, it's, it's new ways of looking at things. It's new ways of sort of approaching it. And, and different managers see different areas, say, personally in my game, of things that I can improve on. Um, so yeah, it's 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 one of those things. You know, I'm working with 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 a new voice, um, and working on different things that I was working on maybe last year or a few months back. So, you know, for for like a selfish point of view, it's it's good to work on these different aspects of my game. Um, so hopefully, on a general consensus, I'm I'm a bit more of an all rounded sort of player, really.